Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be sharing my experiences on what it's been like to start a YouTube channel. I think people tend to make these kind of videos after they've made it big but I want to kind of share my experiences as I'm kind of small and still learning and growing. Um, hopefully this video can inspire some people who are on the fence about starting a YouTube channel, just kind of go for it. I actually thought about starting a YouTube channel for quite a while but kind of I'm denied about it for a really, really long time because I was really afraid or scared of a number of things. Um, so here are a few of the things which I was most afraid of. I know how cruel the internet can be and I was really worried or afraid of what people thought of me on the internet. Like, would they like my content or would they like me? Would they hate me? Um, just that sort of fear. I was also really embarrassed about telling people. Like, I didn't tell my closest friends, my family, for a really really long time like when I first started back in April last year I did it for like a couple of months stopped and then restarted in November it took me a couple of weeks after I restarted in November to start telling people and again that's just because I was afraid of what they'd thought about me which is just so weird and almost just completely wrong another barrier or fear of me is that I hate the sound of my own voice um, which is kind of crazy because you know it, as you record your own voice you're gonna have to play it back to edit it and just the thought of having to do that and listen to my voice repeatedly just really really put me off but in the end it was just a hurdle that I had to overcome and don't get me wrong I still don't like the sound of my own voice it's just one of those things you just gotta do So I mentioned earlier that I started YouTube last year, April, when I got um, put on furlough. And for my first video, I sort of did a video about my iPad and how I used it. And I purposely didn't do a video of showing my face until I think it was like the third or fourth video. I stopped because the views were so poor and the subscribers were like basically non-existent and I really, really lost motivation. I think had I told some of my closest friends or family, they probably would have encouraged me to like just keep going at it. So I think at this point within two months I actually got like my first dislike on my video and it was just like such an awful feeling. It was like a dagger in the heart, you know. It's just another thing which puts you down and thinks that the content you create is just not good enough and then I wouldn't say the dislike made me quit but that definitely probably factored in why I kind of just completely stopped. So the reason I restarted was I mentioned back in my sort of return to YouTube video that um, I was asked to be a a mentor for Cardiff University as like a sort of IC partner program thing and um, that kind of reminded me of why I started YouTube in the first place and that was to, to share my experiences and, and help people so when I got asked to be a mentor that kind of reignited the fire in my belly to really restart YouTube again but the return to YouTube was really slow you know I was I had watched um, videos about you know how to how to start YouTube and it was people would always say the same thing you know post consistently once or twice a week is a really a good amount of videos to be uploading and I was doing this and the views were still slow, subscribers were still you know increasing but very very slowly and I just had to keep telling myself you know just keep going keep going and hopefully I'll see some gains. Now I wouldn't say that any of my gains have been like worldly or anything they've been kind of steadily increasing. I think I had some good growth towards the back end of December and it's kind of risen and it's kind of plateaued a bit so I'm kind of Riding it along, but hoping somewhere along the line in you know, early of this year that it will spike up again. What's been great about starting YouTube is it's taught me so much. You know, things which I probably never go and try, such as learning about photography and videography. I've never really been artistic or creative in that sense, so doing YouTube has kind of forced me down this path which has been really exciting because it's not like in school where you're kind of forced to do this stuff. I want to do YouTube, so I feel like I need to learn how to do this. And I'm still not very good at it, but I'm kind of learning, you know, I'm researching stuff on the internet, looking at YouTube videos, guides, and just trying to expand my knowledge on, on the subject. It's important for me that I continue learning. I don't like being comfortable with just sort of cruising. I always like to keep absorbing new knowledge and learning new things as well as learning about photography and videography I've had to learn how to edit my videos and I was um, utilizing my iPad to edit my videos using um, an app called LumaFusion um, but ever since I knew I was been getting 
the new Mac Mini M1, um, I knew that I was going to be transitioning over to editing on the Mac and using Final Cut Pro. So I've kind of been editing it the last few videos and it's quite a steep learning curve, but again, I've just been watching YouTube videos and just any time I don't know something, I just Google it and then, you know, I'm just continually learning a new piece of software and just, I guess, upgrading myself. Another great thing which I've learned and I'm really thankful for everyone who actually watches my content is the feeling or the knowledge that I know that people enjoy the content and actually find the stuff I post useful. The whole point of me doing YouTube was to share my experiences to try and help people and to know that what I was trying to do by helping people it is actually working and people do enjoy and come back and watch more and more of my videos. It's actually brilliant when I get you know nice comments you know posted on the videos or people actually reach out to me through email or through LinkedIn. Um, some of the messages, messages which I've got on LinkedIn have been you know really really great you know people just you know they're not asking for any help they're just saying that they've watched you know they found me on YouTube watched some of my videos and just wanted to connect so that's just absolutely brilliant and I thank everyone who's actually done that. Another thing which I've learned which I wish I knew when I started way back in April last year was YouTube is a marathon it's not a sprint everyone says well the majority of people will say that the first year is going to be really tough but you've got to be realistic and realize that the pace is going to be slow but if you're consistent hopefully you'll be rewarded by it another thing which i've learnt but still do is i i constantly look at the analytics which i know i shouldn't because what i've learned is that they constantly yo-yo all the time no day is going to be the same it's going to be good some days going to be bad some days but hopefully on average it's going to keep going up but i can't help myself from just like constantly looking at, at the analytics and it's a horrendous feeling to, to see your subscriber count go down sometimes and when you do notice it, it is like heartbreaking so i know i need to stop looking at it but i just can't help it um but the understanding like knowing that the analytics are what they are they will you know fluctuate all the time and that's just how things are like you need to try and not be disheartened by it. Channels grow at different rates. I understand that you know engineering my niche is quite um, it's quite small. Um, and I stumbled across some guy's channel, and he was posting like three or four videos consistently for three or four months, but he had basically zero views and hardly any subscribers. And I felt sorry for the guy. Don't get me wrong, but it did give me some confidence that I was doing something right. <laughs> so if you're thinking about starting YouTube, I just wanted to offer some tips which I've kind of picked up along the way. Number one, you're going to hear something about the YouTube algorithm. And that's basically how YouTube decides if they want to sort of promote your video. And there are ways to focus your content to sort of meet the YouTube algorithm, but I think for starting out, you probably just want to concentrate on just making your content. Don't worry too much about the algorithm. Just get used to making videos, editing it, and just finding out what you want to do with your content and your channel. I think if you try and focus too much on the algorithm, you'll kind of suck the fun out of creating content. You've got to enjoy what you do, because um, otherwise you'll just burn out and you'll just end up quitting, kind of like I did, but for maybe for a different reason. So just enjoy the process and then worry about the algorithm later. My second tip is to have a reason to make content. I think the easiest ones are either to educate people or to entertain people. Like I said earlier, make content you enjoy because then you'll find it so much easier to talk about the subject. If you try and make content which is what you think people will want but don't actually enjoy it or have that much knowledge about it, I think you'll really, really struggle to sort of maintain a good frequency of video uploads and just making it enjoyable for everyone to watch it. If you're at the stage where you've got an idea for a video, you've recorded it and you've edited it, but you don't think it's good enough, my advice is to just upload it. You can constantly think about what you can do to tweak it, make it better, you know, worrying about if people will like it or not. But the fact of the matter is, your first video is probably going to be terrible. You're not going to know that though, unless you upload it. So. Don't think about it too much and just go for it, upload it, you know, see what the views like, see if you get any comments and 
maybe just do a review of your own video and then then you've got a basis to what you know on what to work on what you can improve on my next tip is to find a niche which you can talk about I think anything which you can talk about passionately will make your life so much easier when it comes to making content and just talking about it also don't niche down too hard because otherwise you'll struggle to make enough content but on the flip side don't make your niche like too broad because then otherwise people won't know what your channel's about and they'll kind of get what I'm saying confused about what your channel is but people watch channels or go subscribe to people because they know what kind of content they're going to get if you're too sporadic and you know you cover way too many different topics people probably are unlikely to subscribe my final tip is to write a script I write a lot of scripts um, for basically all my videos because I think it gives it structure. I'm not very good at improvising. I don't follow my script um, word to word. Um, I've got it in front of me and I'm trying to like not look at it, but it's it's just there as a as a, as a as a kind of guide as I'm talking and it makes it so that I don't miss out any important topics I want to cover. The worst thing you can do is to record a load of stuff start editing it and then realise that you've forgot to say something which you wanted to put in your video and you have to get out your camera gear again and then reshoot. That can really disrupt your workflow and it's just generally not very efficient. So just to finish off this video, all I want to say is I'm having an absolute blast making YouTube videos. Um, it's so satisfying to share my experiences and to really realise that people enjoy the content which I create. If you've ever thought about starting a YouTube channel but have just been on the fence about it, I'll just say, just go for it. Don't worry about what people think and just try and overcome your fears and just and just do it. You might not like it, but you won't know that until you start it and give it a go. But I think the overall moral of this video is it's not just about starting a YouTube channel. It's about if you've ever wanted to try something new but you never went and did it because you were afraid of what people thought or you just couldn't overcome certain personal barriers. My advice is to just go for it. Um, you're never gonna know if you're gonna enjoy something unless you, unless you try it. Hopefully I've inspired some people to give YouTube a try or I've inspired them to go back and try something new which they wanted to do a long time ago but just never went and did. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.